Bonjour, comment ça va? Bonjour, je vais bien, merci. Comment puis-je vous aider aujourd'hui? I have a lot of work coming up. What's the best way to manage them? Welcome back, friends. This is a part two of my last video, how to build a ChatGPT audio bot. But today we're going to use the Google text-to-speech module to build it in any language. Let's see what it will detect. Managing a lot of work can be difficult, but here are a few tips that might help. And respond in the corresponding language. ありがとうございました. So we started French, now English, now Japanese, and here we go. It has detected our audio input and responded in the correct language with ChatGPT and Google Text to Speech. Let's see how we build them. Let's log into the Google Cloud. First, you're going to click on credentials. I want to go create credentials, service account. We'll add a new account name. You can call it anything. to the speech test and create and continue next assign a role the role we're going to use here is text to speech so you want to clear, give a cloud speech administrator continue and then we're going to skip this last step Go down. Next, click on this newly created this account. Let's go manage. And we'll click on the three dot. And you're gonna go manage keys. Add a key, you're gonna create a key that's gonna give you a key to download. You're gonna select the JSON format, click on create. Here we go, it's key download it, and that's the key. You're gonna... So let's just refresh our code. What we did here is we're gonna record audio, whisper API will transfer transcribe it to the text we pass that to the chat gpt api get the response pass it back in the system message and then we feed the system message to this pyttsx3 library to do the text to speech and once it returned to this mp3 file it will be played back by our g radios interface outputs as audio okay let's just try this how do you feel today? I'm feeling great. How do you feel today? Submit that. This is the busy time of the day. Hopefully we don't... Okay, it's okay. I got a response back. As an AI language model, I do not have feelings like humans do. However... Okay. So as you can hear, this library, the voice is very robotic. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace the whole chunk of this TTS code with our Google text-to-speech. Hopefully we can get a better result. Next, let's have a look at the Google documentation on the text-to-speech. So click on this code samples. Go to the past text to text-to-speech API, click on Python. Okay, so this is the code sample for the Python. This is what we need. Let's have study this real quick. Um, 
synthesize speech from the input string of the text. So this is the input string. So we don't need that. We already have it from our previous step, which is the response from ChatGPT, and we had it in the system message. Right. As you can see, system message is the response we need, and also that's the, the variable that being passed to this PYTTSX3 library. So we'll do the same thing. We're gonna pass this to the Google TTS module. Okay, so we're gonna copy all this. Um, copy, we need all that. Here defines the type of voice you need. And then the encoding format is MP3. And eventually it will return a MP3 file called output. So let's copy all that. Maybe we should use this um, copy buttons. Back in here. So here we're gonna return the new ones called output MP3. Did all that and let's paste that. So we do not need this bit. Um, let's comment that. Now we'll call it synthesize speech from text stream of oh, blah blah blah. That's fine. Okay, from Google. Yeah, so text is equal to the system message. This is the one we're after. This is default voice. Um, that it's the response audio content is a binary, so it returns as a binary, but we want to turn that to an MP3 file. So eventually, after this function, it gets the MP3 file and uh, it's returned to the G Radio output. Looks good. Uh, before we need to try that, we're going to pip install the function we need. So I'm just going to my blog. Um, kill the server, run that. I've already run this before, so it will be quicker. And then I need to run the update to get the latest module. Okay, so let's try to run the code and see what happens, what sort of error we'll get. So I had an error because um, credentials. I forgot to add the credential into your uh, API code. Um, just um, need to make a bit change here. So first thing we should do here is actually calling the service account. And then don't forget to add your credential, which you need to replace this at to the JSON file we just downloaded. And you're gonna do the text to speech bit and then aha uh -huh. so yes we need to have the credentials equal the credential in this bracket okay so let's just delete this part for the client put that in Add my credential and we should be good to go. Also, don't forget to import the UUID library, which will help us to generate MP3 file. Okay, so um, that's it for the code and let's run it. Let's go to our G Radio interface. We're gonna look slides down. <clears throat> let's refresh it. I'm making a final change to my code. Send it to ChatGPT. Oh, that was quick. That's great. Is there anything specific you need help with, or do you just need some general guidance? I just want to tell you I'm very excited and I'm uploading to YouTube, so I just want to share with you.
and fantastic. Congratulations on completing your project and good luck with the YouTube upload. Don't forget to share the link with me. Great. So as you can see, with the Google text-to-speech library, the voice is much better, more natural. Um, so that's it. But what about we want to make it even more fancier? How about we will let the Google text-to-speech module to detect what language was spoken to it and reply with the corresponding language because you all know that chat gpt you can type different language to it and it will just respond to it and whisper api supports many languages so it will be able to transcribe pass it to chat gpt now when the response got returned from chat gpt in the system message we just need to have a way of detect what language was returned and then we have if statement in front of this Google module and um, pass on to the correct language. Now, if we have a look at this support the language and voice guide on Google, you can see it supports tons of language. So we will create a dictionary that holds a couple of language. Maybe we choose three or four and then have detection in front of this module and play back. Let's see how that's been done. To detect the language, we need to import a language detect library. Now let's just copy and paste in here, just between, actually before the actual Google TTS function kicked in. This is uh, input text to, so the chat GPT response is gonna be feed to the TTS module and the synthesize uh, the voice. Okay, let's get rid of this gender. We don't need this gender. Okay, so let's put it in here and have a look what does it do. Now, I did not really come up with this code. It came from ChatGPT. So uh, the problem with ChatGPT, you just need to be a little bit patient and um, uh, a lot of debugging. But the good thing is when debug, you can ask ChatGPT back about the problem. Just Copy paste the whole po um, copy paste the whole error coding is is really good. Okay, so let's see what we did here. We're gonna import a standard library called language detect. And notice here we have feed it the language detect with our transcript, which is the response from the Whisper API. Meaning we only we want to detect the language at the very first when we record our audio. Then we made a little library, I have three language here. Now these attributes for the voice, you can find them under this page on the Google supported voice for the text to speech. Then comes the if else function. Once it's detected, uh, we're gonna pick one of these language and if nothing is detected here, it's gonna be default to US. Right, so you can have as many language as you want in this library, but OpenAI said the most accurate at this stage will be English still. Okay, so rest is just the same functions. And notice here we have changed the language code to the variable language code and voice name to the voice name, which is also the variable. It's not hard coded anymore. Now let's just run it and see whether it works. Go. So how about let's try French first? And I don't speak French at all. Bonjour, comment ça va? Bonjour, comment ça va? Whisper is powerful. I'm sure he can understand me. Go. Bonjour. Ça va bien. Merci. Et vous? It's very good. What do you want from me? 
I don't know why I say that. What do you want? Let's see. So that should be default English now. As an AI language model, I don't have personal wants or desires. My primary objective is mm -hmm. to assist and provide helpful responses to any questions or tasks you may have. Let's see whether you reply in. Wow. Sounds like it's trying to speak Chinese, but it's. That's very bad. <laughs> Something wrong with this module. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but let's try one last thing in the Japanese. Hontani arigato gozaimasu. I don't speak Japanese either. Do we get a response? Here we go. Cool. Here we go. That's how you can create a chatbot in any language. I hope you enjoyed it.